we shall go through how to use R for a multiple linear regression model with a mix of quantitative and categorical variables. Simply put, a linear regression is used to create a best estimated linear relationship between a quantitative variable against either another quantitative or another categorical data set. A simple linear regression deals with only two variables, while a multiple linear regression deals with multiple variables, which should solely be from quantitative data or solely be from categorical data or even from a mix of both quantitative and categorical data. We shall now go through a multiple linear regression between the quantitative variable, the selling prices of the house, against the quantitative variable, size of the house, and against the categorical variable, whether they have a waterfront and whether or not they are in good or bad condition. We shall assume that the data has been imported by your own means and now move on to the more technical part of the code. Before starting, let's understand that R will know how to deal with the categorical variable by making it into an indicator random variable. This means that for each category, the value of the variable is equal to the value of 1 when it occurs or when it's present and equals to the value of 0 when it does not occur. More of this shall be seen in the video later on. So, we'll use the factor function to tell R that the variable is categorical and together with the summary function and an if-else statement determine whether or not we need to group any of the categories together. If needed to, we can do so like this. These concepts are similar to the simple linear regression one and so we shall move ahead and talk more about the linear model. For the linear model, all we need to do now is to use the function lm bracket the dependent variable which is the selling price of the house tilde the size of the house plus the indicator categorical variable waterfront plus the other categorical variable condition. It is good practice to put the quantitative variable first before the categorical ones. Next, we shall use the summary function to view the estimated coefficients of the linear model. After using the summary function, we see that the y-intercept is minus 53833 and the coefficient for the size of the house is 274. Coefficient for if a waterfront is present is 823294 and coefficient for the whether the house is in good condition is 47679. This tells us that the best estimated linear model would be that the selling price of the car equals to minus 53833 plus 274 times the size of the house plus 823294 times the indicator random variable for the waterfront plus 47679 times the indicator random variable for the condition of the house. As we can see from the p-values, all of them are less than 0 0.01 and the overall p-value using the f-test is also less than 0 0.01. This suggests a strong evidence that the linear model is significant and can be used to estimate a linear relationship between the data sets. Since it is a mix of quantitative and categorical data, we can use the predict function like we did in previous videos to appropriately estimate the price of the house by inputting appropriate parameters. As for the interpretation of the coefficient, it is just like the simple linear regression model example, but now we just need to fix all other categories or all other regressors constant and the coefficient will tell us the change in the price of the house for every unit of the quantitative variable changed and tells us the difference in the prices between different categories for waterfront and whether or not the condition of the house is good. I've now come to the end of the video on how to use R to get a multiple linear regression with a mix of quantitative and categorical variables and I've hoped you have enjoyed it. Feel free to like, share and subscribe and comment on any other points that I've missed out and can be addressed in the comment sections down below. Thank you.